Hello class, today we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how to calculate the range, variance, and standard deviation of a given data set uh, in StackCrunch. So first what we're going to do is we're going to click on our blue squares next to our data set, say open in StackCrunch. It will then import that data into a column of StackCrunch. I'm then going to go to Stat, Summary Stat, Columns. With my blank square here, which is going to what's, what StackCrunch will do all the calculations on, I'm going to click on var1, which is the column name for the uh, data that I want to perform all my calculations on. Then down here, I'm going to select the functions that I need that will be in the right-hand panel, which will be the functions that I want to calculate onto the data set. So I don't want all of these that they've already kind of put over there. So I'm going to do these in order. So first, I want to have the range, I want to have the standard deviation, and I want to have the variance. I'm going to click Compute, and it's going to give me the output for all of the different functions that I selected onto my column variable, var1, and then I'm going to start inputting the answers. So the range of the sample data is 1.5. 1.5. I know that this is in inches because this is what this data set is representing. It is representing the foot lengths in inches of 11 randomly selected people taken in 1988. And a rather random data set as well. And so uh, I know that uh, the range fluctuates 1.5 inches from the lowest value to the max value within this data set. The standard deviation of the sample is 0.45, as I can see here. I'm supposed to round it to two decimal places, uh, so I'm going to keep it at 0.45, and I'm going to use it as uh, the uh, inches as the, um, the data value, and then the variance of the sample data is 0.21 inches squared, and it's 0.21 because I'm going to be rounding this to two decimal places, my variance, uh, total variance is 0 0.206, round that to 0 0.21 inch, inches squared because of the formula that has to go into how we calculate variance. And so to be very brief, basically variance is calculated by the sum, and this is known as, this is using a Greek uh, symbol called sigma, of every x of i minus the mean of the data set divided by the total length of the data set, n minus 1. I'm not going to do the calculation by hand. Oh, and I forgot the most important part, squared. Okay, the square should already kind of give you a hint as to why we're using inches squared and not just inches. So we have uh, x of i equals, represents each of the individual um, numbers within this data set. So x of 1 would be 9.5, x of 2 would be 9.7. The mean is whatever the mean is. That's what this x bar stands for. And as we go through, we're basically going to calculate x of 1 minus the mean, square it, plus x of 2 minus the mean, square it, plus all the way through all 10 or however many uh, numbers we have in this data set, and then we divide it by the total length of the data set minus 1, and that would equal our variance. And this is why, because of the square value here, that we're going to get whatever the unit of measurement is for our data set squared. Now, for standard deviation, that is not going to be squared because the formula for standard deviation, put quite simply, is variance, so this formula that we've used above, square root, and that equals standard deviation. And so this is going to effectively get rid of the square and normalize it to just the uh, within the unit of measurement that the data set is within. So it's much easier to interpret uh, the spread of a data using standard deviation because you do this kind of normalization step of taking the square root of the variance versus doing it um, versus just looking at the variance, okay? And so one more thing I'm going to point out is also how to calculate the uh, rule of thumb range, the range rule of thumb for standard deviation. 
So another way to calculate standard deviation without having to do this formula here is that you're going to take the range divided by 4. And what we know here is that the range of the data is 1.5. And we're going to divide that by 4. We'll do a quick calculation here. And that's going to equal 0.375. We know from our StatCrunch calculation that the standard deviation is 0.45, which is roughly the same. So it's not going to be exact, but it's going to kind of get you fairly close. And so without having to do all this, you can kind of do a little bit of shorthand using this formula here to calculate standard deviation. But make sure you're only using this rule here when you're asked to versus using the actual formula within StackCrunch, which is what this question is asking us about. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Hope the homework goes well for you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.